The debate over Neanderthals as a distinct species is being revisited as new archaeological evidence emerges. Scientists suggest that the similarities between Neanderthals and modern humans are more pronounced than previously thought. Excavations in Portugal's Gruta da Oliveira cave indicate Neanderthals shared their habitat with predators like wolves and bears. Sites, like Gruta da Oliveira, show signs of controlled fire usage, pointing to advanced behavioral capabilities. The strategic positioning of hearths suggests they had a sophisticated understanding of space and fire management. Their remains found in Europe and Asia indicate they were adept hunters, surviving in harsh environments. The use of fire by Neanderthals for cooking meat signifies a significant cognitive and cultural development. Evidence of art and jewelry challenges the stereotype of them as mere brutes. The discovery of Neanderthal burials implies a spiritual or ritualistic aspect to their culture. Genetic studies reveal that Neanderthals and modern humans interbred, blurring species lines. They may have used language, as suggested by the complexity of their social structures and tool use. Neanderthal robust physique was well adapted to the cold climates of Ice Age Europe. Their toolkits included sophisticated implements like Levelois flakes and Mousterian points. The presence of their DNA in modern humans affects traits from immune response to skin color. Adaptation to diverse environments shows a high level of ecological intelligence. They may have practiced medicinal plant use, as evidenced by dental calculus analysis. The overlap of Neanderthal and modern human habitats raises questions about their interactions. Cave sites often reveal signs of long-term occupation and repeated use. Varied diet have included marine resources, indicating they exploited different ecological niches. They might have crafted symbolic objects, suggesting a capacity for abstract thought. The ability to control fire would have been a key advantage in their survival. Their extinction around 40,000 years ago remains a topic of intense study and debate. Neanderthal's image as a solitary hunter is contradicted by evidence of communal living. Their children's remains show they grew up in tight-knit groups, similar to human families. Some sites show evidence of structures, indicating they built shelters. The morphology of their skulls suggests their brains might have functioned differently than ours. Isotopic analysis of their bones helps scientists understand their diet and migration patterns. They lived through several glacial cycles, demonstrating remarkable resilience. The development of compound glues for toolmaking indicates a high level of Neanderthal technological sophistication. Their disappearance coincides with the arrival of modern humans, leading to various hypotheses about their decline. They are now believed to have had a vocal communication system, possibly a form of language. The spread of Neanderthals across Europe and Asia shows their adaptability to different terrains and climates. Neanderthal cave paintings, if authenticated, could rewrite our understanding of the cognitive abilities of early humans. They faced competition from other predators, not just for food, but also for living spaces. Social structure likely involved group hunting and shared responsibilities. Their extinction might have been caused by climate change, competition with modern humans, or diseases brought by modern humans. Their survival for over 300,000 years attests to their evolutionary success. They might have shared knowledge and skills with modern humans during periods of coexistence. The robust nature of their tools reflects the materials available and their specific needs. Some sites show evidence of ornamentation, like feathers and pigments. The study of their dental wear provides insight into their diet and lifestyle. Ability to fashion clothes from animal hides was crucial for surviving the Ice Age. Genetic research has helped identify genes related to physical traits and disease vulnerabilities. The presence of hyoid bones in their remains suggests they could produce sounds for communication. Evidence of Neanderthal cannibalism is contested and may indicate ritualistic behavior rather than mere survival. Their cognitive abilities are being reassessed as more complex than once assumed. Cultural practices, once invisible to archaeologists, are now coming to light through new discoveries. Shared use of caves by Neanderthals and other species indicates complex ecological relationships.
Neanderthal legacies in modern human genomes are a testament to their once widespread presence across Europe and Asia. Adaptation to diverse and changing environments highlights a level of intelligence comparable to early modern humans. Despite all the similarities, it's unlikely we'll finally see the classification of Homo neanderthalensis fade into obscurity anytime soon. Despite often being considered more of a cousin than a sibling, it appears that the often underestimated Neanderthal ought to be placed alongside us in the family portrait of Homo sapiens. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.